In this lecture, we will learn about various roles which were involved in Lucas Hoshin Canary implementation. So broadly, I would say that not only for Luca but for any organization which wishes to implement Hoshin Canary process needs to have broadly five different groups or five different roles well defined. The first is the business leadership team followed by divisional leadership. So divisional leadership could be the second level of leadership team, which could be, I would say the next to the HOD. Functional managers, people who are within the functions, they have some roles to play. Then we may have project leaders may or may not overlap with the functional managers. And lastly, facilitators. Now we will go a little deeper to understand each of these roles better. Let us start by understanding the role of business leadership. Usually this is same as your senior leadership team in the organization. So it could be the management committee, which includes the CEO and his uh, direct reports. They are primarily responsible for agreement of goals and strategies. That is when I say strategies, I'm using the word approach because as I mentioned earlier, strategy is a very heavy word. We are saying what approach we will use to achieve those goals. And I'm using the word agreement of strategies and not communication of the goals and strategies. So they have a, a role that is more facilitative in nature to play rather than traditional approach. 